Hey guys, welcome back to playing some more Sonic after the sequel. It's been about a month, but I'm back, finally. Well, I already did Star Road, but, you know. Who cares about my... Anyway. You see that chaos mold thing that says 2 down there? I got 2 playing in class mode, so it turns out you do have to be in class mode to get the chaos emotes. Yeah. But, I'll show you what happens at the end. But first, let's listen to this awesome music. And if you press start and you see that thing, you see, his compose you see the composer of it? It's really cool. And I just messed up the music. Okay. Alright, now it's back. What the heck just happened? This is a remix of the Sonic the Hedgehog OVA South Southern Islands re theme. Oh my god, what's up with me today? Well, yeah, it's a remix of that. I, I like it. I think I might like it even more than the original, honestly. Yeah. If, if you haven't saw that movie, it's Sonic. The Hedgehog OVA. You, you need to watch it if you're a Sonic fan. And wait, who's that? Is that Mighty? How could they bring him back for such a thing? And why is he helping Sonic? Well, he didn't really... He was just like a playable character in Sonic the Hedgehog the arcade game. He was a Knuckles Chaotic, but... What does he have... What reason does he have to help me? I mean, I haven't really got far enough in the game to really understand. Like, what's going on here? Oh my god. I'm just gonna run under him. Yeah, but I wonder what that's all about. Bringing Mighty the Armadillo back. But he, well, he is a cool character, I have to say. Yeah, but... I guess since I'm t playing a Sonic game, might as well talk about... Sonic Lost Worlds, and I'm really excited for it now. The Deadly Six, well, at first I thought they were kind of meh, but they're not that bad when I saw the recent trailer of them. I mean, now I'm really excited for that game. But that isn't the reason I'm getting the Wii U, though. But I'm still getting one. I mean, I'll, I'll get it if I got a Wii U, but that's not the reason. Yeah, my reason to get a Wii U is Super Mario 3D World. Judge me if you want, but I don't care. And Wind Waker U remake, yeah. I can't wait to get those. Even though the Wind Waker, so the Wind Waker is like a remake, I don't care. I want to get it. But yeah, I think this zone's almost over. Wait, no. Yeah, I tried to record this once with my friend on Skype and it didn't really work so well. And I had to redo the whole thing. But that was like... That was like a month ago. It's been like a month since I even tried to record this episode of Sonic after the sequel. It's kinda sad. I don't know why I kinda just stopped recording Let's Plays for a while. I mean, I really haven't done anything this summer. Just kinda sit around all day and eat ramen noodles. I'm getting fat. <laughs> uh. Yeah. What reason would you want to get a wheel? Leave it in the comments. <laughs> because I need someone to comment on my videos. I need commenters. I could have got bounced on that blue bouncy thing to like do those spinny jump things, but I didn't feel like it. With that one, don't act me already. I died. What? I just I, I died somehow. Okay, I'll be back. Back to the end of the level. I don't know what the heck happened last time. This game was, is really glitchy sometimes. Like one time I died and I just kept falling and I was like dead, but it didn't really kill me. 
He just kept doing a death animation over and over again. <laughs> yeah, this game really has its faults, but it's pretty fun. I give the guy credit. I mean, I don't even know what he made this game in. Probably hard to work around glitches like that and whatever he worked in. But this track's pretty cool too. Just have to say that. Shout out to the track. I like having a spike shield because you can like, you can kill those things, like the, oh my god, what are they called, I don't even know, you can kill like the razor blade things, and I don't know, I don't know, what's, those things are really weird, you can just hit those, yeah, I don't, I don't get it either, but, redness to that blade, okay, some lag, Mighty, what are you doing here? Alright, I could have done that. You, you don't know. You don't need to help me. You're not fire for Sky Resort. Yeah, no business to help me like that. Oh my god, her name's Fee. Or, or is Fi? I don't know. I guess I can talk about some other random song stuff, since I have nothing else to talk about. Yeah. So, you know when people say, like, Sonic the Hedgehog 4 sucks because it gives you, like, a homemade attack? Yeah, I, I kind of disagree. I mean, Sonic the Hedgehog 4 is a fun game, I have to say. Like, I don't really see what the problem is if it's kind of fun, then. This should be okay to play. Like, I don't know. A game that's too easy can still be fun. Even if, it, even if they say the homemade attack makes it too easy. I mean, I don't mind easy games. As long as I have fun playing them. I guess. But that, I have to admit, Sign the Hedgehog 4 is like one of the weaker games in the series, but it was still fun. But you're hearing from the guy that likes the Sonic R soundtrack. <laughs> yeah, I'm weird like that. So with that, we get past Act 2. My, you really didn't need to help me. And here's one of my, my favorite part of the level. For one reason. You'll see. Trains! I love trains so much. It's one of my favorite things. That, it's like one of my favorite places in video games. Like train tracks and stuff like that. And things that have trains in it. I don't know why. It's just so cool when there's like... A train level in a video game. Like, because, I don't know. Where I live, I always run on the train tracks and, like, seeing the train go by. And, like, when trains are in video games, I don't know, I just really like it. That automatically causes me to, like, every level with a train in it. Like, even. Even that train level from Sonic 06, I like it because it has a train in it. Yeah, I said it. I would do a top 10 list of my favorite train levels. Except for that one from Digimon 4, I hated that. If you ever played that game. Like seriously, Digimon 4 is really fun. If you, if you, need, if you haven't played it before. Which I recommend. Like, we can't really play it by yourself, that's our problem. You have to have at least 3 people for it to be fun. And sadly, I don't really have any friends to play that with, so. Yeah, it's just collecting dust. I used to play with my brother and my cousin all the time, but, you know. Yeah. I might, I might do a let's play of that. I might. But, the bad thing about that game is it takes so much grinding. It's really bad. 
But the bosses are pretty fun. I like the ways the dungeons are like, set up in Digimon for Digimon World for. But I, I don't know how I started talking about that. I really don't. I think I'm just a random person. But I think that's a, a really underrated game. I mean, I might give it a review one day. It just depends how I feel. Yeah. I didn't even explain the gimmick of this of this axe. Like you have to you have to get off the, like the ground that the train's on and jump up to the higher platform. Like not it don't do it too early or you're gonna get by, hit by the train too. Yeah. It's pretty simple. I don't even know why I really had to explain it, but for less player's sake. With that, we get past Act 3. Uh, I don't know if I saw him just lands on that train. He's so badass. Ill Sonic, turn around, your front sprite looks disgusting. <laughs> I don't care what game it is, Sonic from the front just looks really weird. Except in Sonic Adventure, it looked okay. I mean, in the newer games it's not as bad, but yeah. He really doesn't look right from the front. Yeah, this boss is really easy. You just have to wait until he goes down. I don't know why he doesn't just like stay up there, like in one direction. Just like, uh, nope, it's like you're not getting me. I'm not it's floating downwards. Yep, with that we're done with this boss fight. Just kidding. You thought that was it, really? Yeah, so now you have to dodge these project projectiles, and then, jeez, man, and then you have to hit the you have to hit the middle you have to hit the middle circle part when Doctor Eggman appears there. I don't get why Doctor Eggman like stands by the window, is like, did you get Sonic? And then Sonic just like spit spin dashes him through the window, and I was like, oh, I shouldn't have looked. He was like, if I don't look, he won't hit me. But I need to see if he got destroyed. He's, uh, yeah, that's kind of it's questionable why he would do that. He just keep looking out the window knowing that Sonic can hit him. Yeah, I think Dr. Eggman's trying to lose at this point. Okay, I need to be careful. I'm running out of rings. Alright, I'm safe again. Ah! Stop a beard! Dr. Eggman, you stupid! And with that, we're done. Because Dr. Eggman, Dr. Eggman is a total idiot. Seriously, that was really stupid. Mighty! He beat him one up, too! Look at that! He's not even... That turtle thing wasn't even dead, he was just like surprised. Like, whoa, I didn't die. Communism. This communism's over there, Sonic. We need to stop it. But seriously, I don't know what Mighty's trying to tell Sonic in this scene. I think I might just be stupid or something, but I, I really don't get it. We're gonna do technical tree zone in the next episode. It's day Kyrie Kiddish or something. Sonic, 